Yo, what is going on guys? Obviously not Micah here, this is his editor. Some of y'all know me as Trace. He did not record an intro for today's Road to Pro, so this is what you get from me. So today he's going to be having a range session. He's going to go over some of his swing changes that he's been working on with Mike Mathis out at Frisco Lakes. I would like to say personally, I appreciate you all. You guys are the ones that make us be able to do what we do. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video that will be starting right now. All right, guys, so we made it out here to the range. This is just going to kind of be a practice session. I'm going to film it. I'm going to talk a little bit about what, what, you know, what I've been working on really aggressively and then, you know, just hit a bunch of golf balls, kind of go through the bag and just, you know, just keep practicing, keep getting better. Um, I'm probably going to have another lesson with Mike in the next couple weeks and I'm going to film that as well so you guys will get to see the progress that I've made and you know he'll he'll get to break down you know what we're going to work on next no big changes have been made but uh very effective what we've been working on so super excited about this and where my game is headed last time I played I played for fun for the first time in a very long time and my it was the best ball striking day I've ever had in my whole golf career so a lot of stuff is happening if you'll notice I'm really working on rotating and, and uh, not letting my hands flip at impact. That's kind of something that me and Mike have been working really hard on. That flip causes a lot of inconsistency. And uh, so really just working on staying very stable through impact and like letting the, letting the wrist follow my turn. So that's kind of what I was working on there. I'm gonna kind of move, I'm gonna hit a gap wedge or some, a couple more wedges and then I'm gonna move into some irons and uh, kind of see where I'm at. But really focusing on turning back and then turning through letting the hips fire and letting the hands just follow it feels really good and it feels very consistent which is what i'm going for all right so those are some really solid swings I had a couple like loose ones in there I mean, I'm hitting everything right at the target. It's not spinning left or right, and it feels very stable. So this is this is exactly what I'm working towards. I'm gonna hit an eight iron now, kind of start speeding it up a little bit, and uh, really just, Mike was telling me the other day, distance is determined by how far you take it back, but you always wanna finish, like you wanna have a full finish, basically. So that just, that just, met, that just like helps me in my mind think, keep turning. So I'm gonna throw a glove on here and start ripping some eight irons. So I'm dropping down to a five iron. Um, as I get in, you know, lower in the irons here, this is where, you know, the move starts to really show itself. You know, it shows more of what I still need to work on as I get into these longer the irons. So I'm going to a five iron. We're really gonna focus on letting those hands come down and not out. That's a big thing that me and Mike have been working on. So five iron, I'm gonna focus up here. Alright, so I looked back over a couple of those and I'm getting a little bit quick um, and I I just came from the gym so I'm kind of struggling to turn through the ball but I'm going to really work on firing my hips and letting those hands drop because I'm, I'm definitely getting a little quick right now. Best swing I've made all day with 5 iron. Right, I'm gonna blast some two irons and then uh, we're gonna hit the driver for a little bit because the driver, that's where it's been struggling the most. All 
right guys, I am moving on to uh, the driver. This is where it's hardest to make this move work. It's hard to trust this club and I'm close, but I'm just not quite there. So one thing I know I need to do is narrow my stance a little bit and really just work on trusting the move. Turning is the biggest thing. When I stop turning, that's when I start missing them right. So really gonna focus on turning. All right guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's video. Just a nice little practice session that I wanted to film. There's um, obviously, I think there's there's still a lot of like cleaning up, but this new move that I'm working on is extremely consistent and I'm very happy with where it's at. The driver is still, I'm still struggling with that one. The last couple ones I hit there, I was really feeling like I was staying, staying tall in my spine and I hit a couple of really good ones there. So really good, really good way to finish up the day. Hope you guys enjoyed this rain session and uh, you know maybe you learned something from it and if you did hit that subscribe button hit that like button it goes a long ways and uh, i'm really excited i tournament